Good morning, good morning. It's the 23rd of July 2023 and my bicycle tour around Iceland continues. Today I am starting from a hotel called Hotel Langeholt, which is somewhere near here. And this is the Snaysfjellnes Ness Peninsula. And I am going to be cycling along this road and around. I think I can get to this place called Helisandor. And along the way, I'm going to stop and check out this place, which I think is called Arnastapi. Um, it has got a campground there, so if the weather turns bad, I can always just stop there and cut a day short. But the idea is to go all the way through to Helisandor. So that's all I've got to say in this little introduction. I will give you some clips from the road and have a chat from the saddle. Speak in a bit. Cheers. Follow this way for 13.4 kilometers. Just hitting the road again. I stayed in a hotel last night, Hotel Langerholt. 110 euros, geez. Did have a buffet breakfast, so I did make the most of that before I left. Although an hour later, obviously I'm still hungry again. So now I'm going to cycle around the Snaysfjella Peninsula. And I've got two options, to stay at a campground at 30 kilometers or 60 kilometers, and that depends how I feel. As you can probably tell, it's a little bit misty. And I think that's just how it is here. I did see the sun a little bit earlier, so maybe it'll come out to play later. Uh, there shouldn't be much chance of rain, hopefully. So we're going to carry on and see how I get on. I think I've found the black sheep of the family. Hey hey! Idiots do it. Top right hand side you can see a waterfall and they're uh, quite a common feature in Iceland, a lot of waterfalls and a lot of flies. You'll probably be seeing a couple of those in front of the camera as well. I don't know if you watched the video yesterday but in it I mentioned that I'd spent the night in a hotel partly because my back was playing up. Uh, thankfully uh, it was better on this day's ride and it, then it got gradually better and then after two or three days it's like nothing happened. The magic of Neurofen, eh? One of those things on a bike tour, sometimes you either pick up a, a small injury, like I remember cycling Alaska to Argentina and about four days in my knee was like completely shot and it took about three weeks for that to to get back to normal again but I had no choice I just had to keep on cycling and this was pretty much the same so but thankfully it all seems to work out okay in the end. One of the areas I cycled through was a nesting ground, I think, for arctic terns and possibly some other birds. A couple of them did uh, try to dive bomb me as I was cycling along. Nowhere near as bad as magpies in New Zealand, but it did come out of nowhere a little bit. With the weather playing nicely, I decided I'd only have a brief stop at Arnastapi and then carry on cycling all the way around to Helisandor. In Arnastapi, it used to be a fishing village. Uh, nowadays, it's more of a tourist orientated place. It's a good stopping point on the peninsula. Uh, you can get some food there, which is what I did. Got some more fish and chips, 20 euros, well spent. And you can also stay the night there if you want. The town does have a natural arch, there's some of these traditional buildings which are covered in dirt on top 
but really you know you don't need to spend too long there you can just spend an hour like i did for lunch get a feel for it and then it's time to move on and then the rest of the tour just went pretty smoothly really so i carried on cycling all the way through to helisandor there was a campground there that had good facilities but was a little bit small for the amount of people that rocked up onto the campsite later on and that's pretty typical of camping spots in iceland the facilities uh, just don't seem to be enough for the amount of people. Now that's probably a sign of how tourism has developed more over the years than anything else. Uh, but that's the way it goes. And then, yeah, it was just a matter of getting a good night's sleep and preparing for the next day's ride. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did like it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And I will catch you in the next one. Cheers for now.